Building Empathy and Emotional Intelligence, Pathway to Democratic Leadership. Hello, English learners and future leaders. Today, we dive deep into building empathy and emotional intelligence, a pivotal component of democratic leadership. Remember, as you hone your leadership skills, understanding and connecting with people is key. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. Imagine walking in someone else's shoes and feeling what they feel. Emotional intelligence, on the other hand, is recognizing, understanding, and managing our own emotions, as well as recognizing, understanding, and influencing the emotions of others. In a workplace setting, these are crucial. They help in building strong teams, resolving conflicts, and fostering a positive environment. Democratic leadership, by nature, is collaborative. Leaders often seek input from team members, value feedback, and strive for consensus. This requires a deep understanding of team dynamics and individual emotions. Empathy allows a leader to connect with team members, ensuring they feel valued and understood. Emotional intelligence helps the leader manage emotional responses in a way that benefits the team and the objectives. 1. Active listening. Pay full attention when someone is speaking. Don't just hear. Truly listen. 2. Ask open-ended questions. Instead of yes, no questions, ask questions that allow people to express themselves. 3. Avoid judgment. Everyone has a unique perspective. Respect it. 4. Express understanding. Use phrases like, I see where you're coming from, to show you comprehend their feelings. 1. Self-awareness. Reflect on your emotions. Recognize triggers and patterns. 2. Self-regulation. Practice self-control. Avoid knee-jerk reactions. 3. Motivation. Stay driven. Recognize what fuels your passion. 4. Social skills. Practice active listening, conflict resolution, and effective communication. 5. Empathy. As mentioned earlier, put yourself in others' shoes. Mastering empathy and emotional intelligence not only elevates your leadership style but also deepens your connections in professional and personal realms. As you continue your journey in English language learning, remember that language isn't just about words, but also understanding emotions and context. We hope this session has been enlightening. Until next time, keep learning and leading.